top best free video editing software available in 2020 going into 2021. P.S. My name is Kelsey and I'm co-founder of Fever Days Productions and I'm also a freelance editor and this channel is going to be dedicated towards video production, video editing and all things about being a creative freelancer so subscribe if that sounds interesting to you. Anyway, today I'm going to be talking about three of the best free video editing softwares that you can find available in 2020 going into 2021. Now, all the softwares that I mentioned in this video will be linked in the description below. So I'll save you guys the hassle. If you just go to the description box below, you can find direct links to the software that I mentioned in this video. And all the softwares are available on Mac, Windows and Linux. So despite your computer spec, there should be a software on this list that is uh, available for you. And I'm going to do this video in tiers. So there's a beginner tier, an intermediate tier, and an advanced tier. So no matter what a stage you're at in your video editing career, there should be a free software that is available to you for you to use effectively. Number one is the beginner tier. And the beginner tier basically suggests that you know absolutely nothing about video editing. You're completely new to the game and you just want to do some basic cuts, add maybe simple video transitions, add some text functions and maybe even add some music. And for this, a great example of a free video editing software that you can use is going to be Shotcut. Now Shotcut was founded in 2011 and the reason why I've included it in the beginner tier is because it bridges the gap between iMovie and something a little bit more professional without it being too overly confusing. Now if we just jump into the software you can see that originally um, Shotcut was designed for Linux computers and I feel like you can kind of tell by the way it's laid out but nonetheless it works perfectly fine for beginner editors. Over here you have your file organisation tab, you have your preview tab and then you have your timeline at the bottom but one of the main things about Shotcut is that it has filters and this basically means you have all your video transitions, um, you can do basic colour grading on the software too. Um, you can also add some audio effects such as noise gates or reverb if that's something that your video requires. So though it is perfect for beginners, it doesn't really limit in the range of um, effects and functions that the video editing can do. But ultimately, one of the best things about Shotcut is the fact that it's an open source program. And that basically means that when you download the free version of this video editor, that is the only version that you get. There's no hidden, like upgraded version. You're not gonna get halfway through a video and they're gonna be like, you know, you need to pay for a, a pro membership or anything like that. The free version is the only version you get, which is definitely something that I value as a creator. And I know for a fact a lot of beginners will probably value this as well because it's free and you don't have to pay any money. So that's why I recommend Shotcut as a beginner tier video editor that is completely for free. The number two is the intermediate tier. And that basically suggests that you know the foundations of video editing, but you kind of want to up the game and utilize some more transitions or um, some more effects. And for this, I would suggest DaVinci Resolve. Now DaVinci is a professional color grading suite, which has advanced grading options. And it's made my footage look like this to this. So if colour is something that you value a lot in your projects, then I would strongly recommend DaVinci um, because of the sheer amount of colour grading work that you can actually do on this software. If we jump into the software, you can see that it's quite easily laid out. The tabs at the bottom kind of show the different little sections that you have to the video editing software, such as um, cut, edit, fusion, colour grading, music, and then obviously your delivery, so your export. In the last few years, DaVinci have tried to adapt its program to encompass all different types of video editing so that it can compete with the likes of Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro. And I feel like it does do a really good job considering it is free and highly regarded in, you know, being a professional video editor. Now, I primarily edit on Premiere Pro, but I know for a fact if Premiere just ceased to exist, then I would definitely switch over to DaVinci um, just because of how easy it is to use and how easy it is to get to grips with, which is why I recommend it for an intermediate tier free video editor. Now, the only thing I would say about DaVinci Resolve is that you need to have a powerful computer or a high spec to run DaVinci successfully. And um, because I know a lot of people in the past that have had lower spec computers that have tried to edit on DaVinci and they've had problems with playback or the resolution not being too good. So I would say if you don't have that high spec of a computer, then I would suggest maybe downloading Shotcut and editing on that instead. And number three is the advanced tier. The advanced tier suggests that your editing game is strong, but you don't really want to fork out for the likes of Premiere Pro or Final Cut. So for this advanced tier, I would suggest um, Blender as a free video editing software that you can use. And I say this is an advanced option because of how much the program facilitates in terms of features. You can animate, you can model, you can sculpture, you can edit, you can color grade, you can audio mix. 
there is actually nothing that Blender cannot do. However, the one thing I will say about Blender is that it can be extremely overwhelming to get to grips with if you are just beginning out. So this is why I recommend it for editors that have been in the game for a long time and they wanna kind of up the game and do something different. Now, the good thing about Blender is, of course, it's free and you can do all this stuff to it. But the good thing is that if you say that you can edit on Blender, I feel like it's a super niche and unique thing to say. So I strongly suggest that if you have the time to definitely look into getting the software and um, just playing around with it. Having said that, the thing about editing is that it is just personal preference. What works for me might not work for you. And I feel like it's all about trying different editing interfaces and just seeing what software works best for you and your editing workflow and just kind of running with it so you can work with it and familiarize yourself with the software and use it effectively for whatever you need videos for. But having said that, those are my top three video editing softwares for 2020 going into 2021. I hope you enjoyed watching and comment below if you use any of these softwares and if you don't, let me know the video editing software that you use. I'd love to find out. So subscribe if you found the video useful and give it a like if you want to see more content like this and I'll catch you in the next video.